Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, today's video is a little bit different because you guys can actually see my ugly mug for the first time. Well, how do you do? My name's Starlord or Ben, how do you do? Hope you're having a good day. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna be probably transitioning to a more face cam approach to my YouTube videos in the near future. So I do hope that you guys don't mind seeing this thing. And uh, yeah, I would like to say thank you very much to Elgato for actually giving the green screen. You guys probably can't see the green screen right now unless I kept it in. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we're going with here. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, what we're actually gonna be doing is looking at the brand new leak skins for the upcoming next week or two for Fortnite Battle Royale. Some of them are very, very cool, and I definitely cannot wait to get my hands on them. And uh, yeah, we're going to look at them in today's video. So before we do that, guys, please do not forget to leave a like on the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get into today's video. So starting off, we're going to get straight into it and take a look at the brand new skins that we're going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks from the version 4.2.0 update or whatever it's called. Anyway, but first one that we're going to see on screen right now is this one right here. And as you can see, it is pretty darn cool. I mean, it's a dude. You can obviously see it's a male kind of structure. You know, we do have a female variant of this, but the male structure is mostly kind of got black uh, with little green kind of essence. He has a, a hazmat kind of suit on, I guess. And he just looks pretty darn awesome. I think that looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I definitely... Definitely want to get my hands on that. And uh, yeah, there's nothing really much to say about it other than what the heck is that little antenna thing on his head right there. And uh, obviously he has these kind of gas chamber things at the back to kind of ventilate his breathing, his oxygen. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually seem like these come with back blings. So it looks like we're going to be back blingless for a little while now in the actual season uh, kind of weeks, I guess. So that's it. I, I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. I wish they would have had some kind of back bling or something, but unfortunately, it's just the way it is, you know? Uh, but anyway, like I did say, there is a female variant of this, and she will be on screen right now. And as you can see, she is the female. She's kind of holding up her hands like, whoa, whoa, don't try and grab up on me, bro. What are you doing? Get off these. These are... You, you need to pay to touch these, bro. Um, no, but seriously, though, she looks pretty cool. Obviously, you can see the clear difference that she has these and um, also you know she has a more green with an essence of yellow in her actual costume herself and uh, now personally for me I like the male one version of this better I think it just looks badass to be honest and uh, yeah I know for a fact I will definitely buy these when they come out now unfortunately I don't know actual the, the actual names or the rarities of these skins right now so up until now it's also just speculation but I can bet you that these ones will cost around about 1,000 500 V-Bucks or 1,200, depending on how uh, much the Epic variant skins are actually worth. Now, the next one that we're going to move on to is a really, really cool one, and it is actually a new superhero or supervillain coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, and he is on screen right now, and as you can see, it is this gold kind of dude, he has these weird glasses, he has this awesome little, I don't know, he just has a really awesome suit that I like, it's kind of gold with a little bit of a kind of silverish kind of look, and uh, yeah, he looks really cool with a V on his chest and everything, unfortunately, we don't know his name, uh, but we can speculate that it's a V-Bucks man, I guess, no, it wouldn't really be V-Bucks man, but you know, we can kind of, yeah, just kind of joke around with it, but other than that, I like the look of this kind Character, and uh, yeah, I will definitely do a uh, before you buy episode on him. He looks really, really cool. And obviously, you can see that he is another male skin, uh, which is kind of a little bit poopy. I really want a female uh, kind of superhero skin again. So uh, I will definitely look out for those in the next couple of weeks when I'm leaking the files and everything. Uh, the next one we're going to move on to is an actual uh, kind of monster, I guess. And unfortunately, uh, we actually do know that this is just a costume and it is on screen right now. And as you can see, it is some kind of Moisty Mire kind of uh, creature because if you go to the actual, uh, I guess it's uh, Risky Reels, you can actually see on the movie board, it says the creature from Moisty Mire. And I'm assuming that this dude right here is from there. Now, unfortunately, I cannot see what he has on his utility belt, but it looks like something like red and then green in the middle. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have any kind of speculations on what those could be, what they symbolize, Leave a comment down below, I would love to know. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, it just looks like the, the Leviathan, you know? So I don't know whether I'm actually going to buy that. But probably for the purposes of doing a Before You Buy series, uh, you know, I will most likely buy it. Moving on to possibly one of my favorite skins added to this game. Full stop, we have what can only be assumed as a 
army commando, I guess. Shut up, phone. Um, an army commando. He is on screen right now. And as you can see, it is this dude. He has kind of like, a, I guess it's paint on the side of his chest right here. He's got some kind of device where it kind of uh, monitors his heart rate. He's also got a utility belt of uh, bullets, it seems. I don't know. I mean, it looks weird. They don't actually look like bullets. But it's made to look like that. And also, he has a digital camo kind of pants. And uh, the aviators with the actual bandana himself. He looks really cool. I love the beard. And I'm definitely going to be purchasing this when they actually come out. It's really, really, really cool. Now that the skins are out of the way, we're actually going to be moving on to the brand new uh, pickaxes that we're going to see in the game. And the first one on screen right now is a film camera. There's nothing really much to say about this other than it's sticking with the whole movie theme. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to buy it. I mean, like I said, I I'm probably going to buy it for the, for the you know, before you buy series. But I don't want to buy it. I mean, it's not uh, like instantly sticking out to me as a pickaxe that I would love to use. Uh, but anyway, that is the first pickaxe. We're going to move on to the next one, which is the one on screen right now. And obviously, you can see that this pickaxe will be going with the superhero that we saw uh, just a couple of seconds ago. It kind of has that same color, kind of like color scheme to it. And assumingly, this could be a spaceship. Kind of thing. I mean, if we look back at the superhero, I mean, I'm not going to show him on screen, but if we kind of look back at him, he does look like he hasn't got like a human kind of structure. You know, he could be from out of this world and had gotten here on a ship. So it is quite possible that this uh, actual pickaxe itself is his ship kind of thing, you know, like a model of his ship, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, moving on, we have a brand new pickaxe, uh, which is kind of resembling a kind of a digger or, you know, a kind of a drill that you would drill into the ground with. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it's yellow. Uh, this will most likely go for around about 800, I would say, V-Bucks. And uh, yeah, I definitely like the look of this. I would definitely buy it personally. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I need to stop saying definitely, don't I? Definitely, yeah. I definitely need to stop this saying definitely. Uh, but anyway, I definitely will buy that. Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again! <laughs> anyway, moving on, we're going to be switching over to the last pickaxe, which is one that has been very much requested for a long time now, and that is the stop sign pickaxe. It looks pretty cool. Nothing really much to say other than it's a stop sign that's kind of bent, crushed in and everything. And uh, I definitely like it. I, I'm saying it again. I like it. I am going to buy that indefinitely. Okay, so finally we are at the actual gliders themselves. There's only two of them, so I'm gonna throw them on screen pretty quickly. The first one is on screen right now, and as you can see, it goes with the hazmat kind of suits and everything. Doesn't look too shabby in my opinion, but you can see it's kind of leather and everything. Uh, again, not not my kind of type. I don't know. Maybe it's just the color scheme. Maybe it was black and green. I would have uh, bought it, but other than that, I'm not a big fan. Moving on to the next one, we do have a glider that goes with the superhero that we just reviewed a couple of seconds ago. It's kind of gold here. Kind of sticks to the same kind of print of the color scheme and uh, it's very basic really there's nothing really much to it uh, other than that we're gonna switch to the back blings which I thought those characters wouldn't have but it actually seems like they do have black blings and uh, I'm just an idiot so on screen right now as you can see the first one is an oxygen tank uh, kind of filled with all this droopy like kind of yellow stuff I'm guessing that is that spray that you actually like block up like kind of a uh, you know when uh, like say for example a pipe has a crack in it you would spray that kind of foam onto it and it would stick onto it that's what it looks like has been attached to these right here and then we're also going to move on to the next two which are on screen right now and as you can see they go with the hazmat kind of guys and uh, they just look kind of basic i mean I, I i'm not too bothered about them really to be honest they look pretty cool but uh, you know you get them free with the actual skins themselves so that's you know pretty awesome Okay, now we're going to move on to the last four things, guys, and uh, these are emotes that we're going to see throughout the next couple of weeks, and the first one that we're going to see is Bendy, as you can see right there, it's kind of got the woman, like, uh, I don't know really what that kind of dance is or what that movement is, but, you know, still, we can only assume that it's going to be based off a meme or a popular movie or something like that. The next thing that we're going to see is the clapper emote, as you can see, it is a dude holding one of those clapper wheels that or clapper boards that you would do when you're on a movie set, and it's like, uh, action! You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, moving on, we also have a, a pop dance one with the woman kind of like, yeah, maybe like Beyonce kind of dance or something like that. I mean, it's a Beyonce pose, I guess. I mean, not enough thickness 
on the booty. Uh, but still, you know, we're getting a pop dance emote. And last but not least, we have a yeet emote. I don't know what yeet even means, to be honest. I know a lot of people go yeet and everything. I don't know it. I, I just don't get that kind of stuff. Uh, but as you can see, it's on screen right there uh, for you guys to witness. Um, so if you know what any of those are, if they're based off anything in particular, go to my Twitter account and send me the video of what they're based off. I would love to know. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching in today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I do hope that you will subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite Glitches Guide videos just like this one. And uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. Enjoy the brand new update, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.